Hey guys, I'm really sorry about the lighting today. It's a gloomy day here in Nebraska. I love these days. It's a great day to sit down and create, but it doesn't give me the best lighting. I was inspired by this adorable Mother's Day gift that I was given by my daughter, which was this crazy hair plant and a cute little succulent from church to make my own crazy hair plant for the family. Come check it out. Let's see how it turns out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Check out today's video. Don't forget, I always try and link everything I use in the description box below. If I can't find what I used, I link something as close as possible. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think. All right, here we go, guys. So for this project, I'm gonna use two different sizes of the terracotta pots. These are from Dollar Tree. For this project, I also used some Waverly chalk paints. I thought I was going to use ivory, but I ended up using the white color. Then I also used the color agave, and ballet slippers. I forgot to show it, but I also used black. This project is really simple, as are most of my projects, but all you gotta do to get started is put a couple base coats of paint on your pots. I put two coats of each color. For the bigger pot, I went ahead and I took some painter's tape, and honestly, I had a really difficult time figuring out what I wanted to do. But in the end, I just went ahead and I put some painter's tape on. When I was happy with what I saw, I painted the open areas with ballet slipper. I tend to try and paint right out of the paint jar itself, or the paint bottle itself, just because I feel like I waste less paint that way. Once I had painted all the open areas, I just removed the painter's tape, yes, while the paint was still wet. The chalk I had on hand was actually chalkboard paint, but because it gives it that matte feel just like the Waverly chalk paint does, I went ahead and I used it. Since pink, white, and black always go so well together, I went ahead and I added a black strip around the top of this. I still had the painter's tape on, so it worked out perfectly. Next, we'll be adding a face, and I tried to use some rounder items so that I didn't have to actually paint round pieces. However, I wasn't very good at that, so I'm taking a detail brush here, and I'm just trying to fix those round areas and make them so they're a little bit more even. I think what I'll do next time is draw on with circles where I want this. <laughs> I think what I'll do next time is draw on with pencil where I want the shapes and what shapes I want, and then I'll just fill them in with the paint. I think that'd make it a lot easier. For this bigger pot, I tried a little something different with the eyes. I still used this glue stick to get the round circle and I pressed it in and put it on the pot, but I didn't do all three layers. I just had the black and the white light spots. You can easily go ahead and press a little bit more so that it mushes out a little bit and you get a bigger circle, which is what I did here. And next I just added a little bit of detail. I gave my pot a smile, as well as some little um, light spots in the eyes, but I didn't wait for the paint to dry, so they're not perfect, but they work. I'm happy with them. I went back to the agave pot, and I went ahead and I tried to give it some blush cheeks. I'm not sure if I love this, but I kind of do, so I can't really decide. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the blushing cheeks. I really like how this bigger potting plant turned out with the light spots. Next, I just got some cactus potting mix, and I just picked up the first one I found, and this is what I'm going to plant my succulents in. These are my first succulents, so I don't know really how to take care of them very well, and we'll see if this potting mix helps me out any. So here's a look at the final project. I did not add any sealant to these pots. I have them outside right now to get the sun, but I honestly plan on keeping them inside. So since these are my first succulents, hopefully we can keep them alive. But if not, we'll start again and we'll give some new succulents these super cute planners as a new home. I'll keep you updated. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys again next time. Bye bye!